Alrighty guys, good morning. We are uh, down here at the Harpeth River and me and John are gonna be fishing together today. I'm actually waiting on him. He is approximately three hours late and um, usually that's what happens when me and John fish together. Somebody's late, but uh, he texted me this morning and was like, dude, I just woke up. So uh, I told him, no worries, come on, let's get to it. Let's uh, go ahead and make your way here. And yeah, so I'm waiting on him. But I'm gonna do some fishing in the meantime while I'm waiting. Went to uh, Harpeth River Outfitters yesterday and got some tackle, got some micro jigs, um, got some new line, you know, stuff I need. And yeah, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna start fishing and uh, wait on John. It's a good little bank fishing area. Straight drop off. Beautiful, holy crap. Oh my god. I almost just fell in the river. That would not have been fun. Holy crap. Okay. It is definitely, definitely muddy down here. Oh my gosh. That is a freaking awesome smallmouth. That is a freaking awesome smallmouth. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> First cast in there. First freaking cast in there. Smoked the micro jig. Look at that fish. Look at that fish, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. There you go. Try to get another one and then leave this spot, I believe. I'm uh, trespassing. <laughs> so. Make a couple casts and then... I don't know how you're supposed to access this creek, but... I've come down here before and never had any problems, so not sure what happened and what changed, but Oh yeah, that's another freaking awesome fish. What in the world? There's like a little current break right here. What in the heck, dude? That is freaking sick. Another one about the same exact size. <laughs> I didn't know any better. I think that was the same exact fish. That's awesome. Come on, buddy. Good lord. Man. Alright, let's go for one more fish and then we're getting out of here. Me and John just loaded the kayaks down to the river, and uh, it literally feels like it's 80 degrees. <laughs> it is so hot. Luckily, I got a short sleeve shirt and shorts on underneath what I'm wearing right now. So, uh, yeah, fishing Harpeth River. Obviously, I've caught a couple fish already, but... Uh, Probably gonna stick with the micro jig for a little bit and see what happens. I'm gonna paddle up to this little rock. It's kind of a current break up here. Let's see if I can catch a couple fish. We have the currents pushing it in the it feels like. I'm yeah, I'm like, man, I'm like, I feel like I've gotten bit a hundred times, but I know I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Got one. Oh, dude, that was a nice fish, too. He was, yeah, out in the middle. <laughs> well, I was kind of dragging it. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, they can be the gravel all over the middle. This is like a calmer pocket too. See, I'm kind of just dragging this jig, and he picked it up. I think the key here is, I think these fish are in a little bit deeper water. I don't think they're up shallow. We've been casting at the current breaks. And uh, I just figured I'd tie a little, a little bit heavier swim bait head on. Just cast around, slow roll it, see if... And these little small mouth will just crush it. Got one. Yes. Skunk out of the freaking boat. Kayak. On the little swim bait. A little missile shockwave 3.5. Frosted purple. Nice. Here you go, little buddy. That felt good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of reeling it slow and popping it off the bottom. Little fish. Oh, yeah. Oh. Little swim bait, dude. Oh. I'm gonna bounce off you, so watch out. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Another little small mouth on the uh, shockwave. A little 3.5 shockwave from missile. Yep. That in the middle? Uh, he was kind of after that little current break. It's deeper over here, though. I'll be honest with you, it's it's 100% deeper right here in this section, at least. Nice! I just got a spotted bass, too! <laughs> oh, I the freaking... Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get up in here, buddy. He hit it twice. Whew. Man, this river is kind of hard to navigate when you're floating it. Pretty fish. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, my God. It broke off. Dude, if that was a smallmouth, it was five freaking pounds. Oh, my gosh. I don't think it was a smallmouth, though. I think it would have jumped by now. I just caught a rock bass a minute ago. So I just caught a rock bass over here. You got a rock bass? Yeah. Uh, I saw you lose that fish right there. He came right. Dude, I got a good fish. Spotted bass, I think. Come here, little gay. 
Oh! Nice. Alright, this little large mouth on the Ned Bomb. There's two fish on the Ned Bomb. Oh man, John, look! The freaking keeper crappie! What in the world? What in the world? There you go, buddy. That's hilarious. Of course I went out two weeks ago and crappie fish for four or five hours to catch one. Then I come out here throwing a freaking Ned Bomb and catch one. Is it nice fish? Alright, there it is. We can see the tag out basically, but maybe there's another one coming. Pretty fish there. Whew, I'm tired. I'm a lazy boat fisherman. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, this. 